Hey there, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cybersecurity Meg, and as always, I'm super stoked that you are here. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys a bit about my favorite currently on the market free antivirus that you should definitely go ahead and check out the download link in the description box of the video below. If you were able to catch the video about a week or so ago, I did put out a video that was about Malwarebytes Premium, which is their paid at home antivirus, but little known to anyone, there's also a free version that they offer. If you want to go ahead and check it out, again, it's completely free. Go ahead and click the download link in the description below. I do want to let you know that when you click on that download link, you're going to get 14 days of Malwarebytes Premium for free. So you're going to get all the benefits of the premium product with real-time scanning. You can do scheduled scans, real-time protection, discover and ransomware, app protection for MacBooks and so forth. But after that first 14 days, it's going to revert down to the free version version, which does lose some of that functionality. That said, one of my favorite things right off the bat about Malwarebytes, especially the free version, is A, the fact that they even offer a free consumer version. If you're familiar at all with the market right now with antivirus products, a vast majority of the really good and reputable antivirus products only offer enterprise versions, meaning they're only meant for big big companies or small to medium sized businesses, but Malware Excel, Malwarebytes excels in both. They have an enterprise version and you also have an at-home version for people like me and you who want to keep our devices safe. Furthermore, beyond that, the fact that there's a MacBook version is just phenomenal considering the fact that everyone's always reaching out asking, hey Meg, I have a MacBook. Do I need to put antivirus on it or is it just is it just, you know, not prone to malware whatsoever? And I think there's that running joke going on in the cybersecurity community that the only way you're going to have a safe device that's able to connect to the internet is if it's completely disabled from the internet, all the ports are closed off, it's sitting inside of a locked metal box um, and behind like a ton of locked doors. And then even then you still think to yourself like, <laughs> can someone hack into it? Who knows? So today I want to go over some of my favorite features of the free versions of Malwarebytes. It is offered for both Windows and MacBook, so if you are a Windows user, I won't judge you first off, but second off, there is a free version for you too. So like I mentioned, if you go ahead and click the download link in the description box below, you're going to get two weeks worth of Malwarebytes Premium right off the bat with all the premium functionality. However, when that expires, it'll revert back to the free version and it's still gonna be a much better amount of protection than not having anything at all. So I wanna go over some of the features for you. So this is Malwarebytes, the free version, as so aptly coined by the word free up here. Basically what it's going to do once you install it and have a scan run is it's going to detect any and all malware that's already on your device. So one of the big differences between the free version and the paid premium version is the fact that with the free version, it's gonna detect what's already there. Whereas the premium version, it's going to detect things in live when it's happening. And you're gonna be able to schedule scans as well with the premium version. With this free version, you can still go in here and click scan. It's gonna go super, super quickly. I hope it doesn't find any malware because then that'd be really awkward for me to present as a cybersecurity specialist, but then have malware be discovered on my <laughs> antivirus scan. But as you can see, it goes really quickly. And like I mentioned, the big difference is with the premium paid version, you can get the scans to be scheduled. If you wanna have it running when you're not gonna be doing a whole bunch of heavy usage on your device, you can do that. But if you just want the free version, then you can just go ahead and manually click scan. As you can see here, the scan literally took 18 seconds, which is absolutely wild for a full antivirus scan to complete within 18 seconds. That's just phenomenal time. And my experience, I've used both Malwarebytes Premium as well as the free version. I haven't noticed any lag or any takeaway from performance on my device due to having Malwarebytes on my device and running scans. Another thing to keep in mind is that Malwarebytes whether the free or the premium version, the amount of file space it takes up on your device is so minimal that it's just, it's astounding how they can pack such, so many features that are so fantastic into such a small file. It's 
not going to take up any room. That's like barely any room on your device at all. So that's something that I really admire. So we can go ahead and see, like I mentioned, it only took 18 seconds and it scanned over 36,000 items. There are zero threats detected. If you're not familiar with the, what a PEP stands for or a PUP as we like to call it, those are potentially unwanted programs. Those nasty little programs are gonna be on your computer. Perhaps there was a drive-by download on some website that you visited and you don't even know that it's there and it's sitting there on your device malicious. So the free version is going to detect that. And if it were to have been kind of identified within this scan, you would have the ability to quarantine it and remediate it. You also get this really nifty feature that's about reports. So if you want to go back and look and see, hmm, how safe of a at-home user have I been on my device the last 30 or 60 or 90 days, you can go in here and look and see how often the scans that you are running discovered malicious items. And if you're like me, you can see how often you ran a scan, but no malicious items were discovered. Go Meg. <laughs> so if you wanted to go through and you didn't want all these reports clogging it up, you could easily click on delete all and get rid of everything. It's a pretty nifty and really easy to use right off the bat. What I also love about Myorbytes, regardless of the free or the premium version, which obviously the premium version is going to have a lot more features. So I would definitely go with the premium version if you have the ability to, but the free version nonetheless, the GUI, the graphical user interface, if you're not familiar with that term, is so easy to navigate and it's actually like really aesthetically appealing to me. A vast majority of the at-home um, antivirus that you look at right now, they are just not so easy to utilize. They're not for people like who don't have a lot of experience working with antivirus. They're not easily navigatable and it gets kind of confusing on how to use them. But with these, all the buttons and everything are really self-explanatory, looking at a report, clicking done, knowing how long something took. I feel like Mauerbytes provides you just the amount of information that you need, but not more than is necessary to overwhelm you. So that is basically my take on Malwarebytes, the free version. Again, it's offered in both Windows and MacBook. You should go ahead and click the link down in the description box below. I also have a link for Malwarebytes Premium on discount through the end of January. So if you do want to get Malwarebytes Premium, which I highly recommend, I have a 50% off discount code, which I'll also put down in the description box as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you want, go ahead and subscribe. Follow me, follow Malwarebytes, check us all out because we're both fantastic. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Have a great one. Ciao.